How you doing, everybody? Sit facing the screen. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Logan 5. Okay, so this is my arcade retro clock project on a Raspberry Pi 2 computer using a unicorn hat. It's an 8x8 display, 256 color LEDs. This first little game we're looking at is called Outbreak. It's simulating a virus. Oh, there's the current time scrolling by, 3.40 p.m. So these little moving critters are viruses. They move back and forth, they see each other, they tend to clump together if they're the same color. If they're not the same color, they will infect each other. Now you see them here spazzing out a little bit. They have the ability to mutate, replicate, and die. Sometimes when they mutate, their speed increases greatly or decreases, depending on the mutation. The overall effect is a room full of wiggly dots. You can see how some of them are zipping around pretty fast. This little world that they're living in is about six screens worth of real estate. All the action takes place off screen as well. It's all calculated in a virtual world. And there's like a virtual camera that is just scrolling around this world in clockwise fashion. Every now and then the time will scroll by because this is after all a clock. You see, there's nothing f for these little guys to do down in this area, except interact. That's where the fun begins. Up here, there were some edible dots, but they're all gone now. Doom, doom. This thing really needs sound effects. I like the way they just freak out like that, zipping around. So that's one of the games. Outbreak. The first one I started with, however, was Pac-Man based. Let's try that one out. Pac-Man's little yellow dot, Pac Dot, I call him. His job is to avoid the other colored dots, except green. Green is a power pill. Each green, the ghost dots turn blue. He can eat them. Every now and then, if he clear, oh sorry, if he clears the screen, the score will display. But also, every 30 seconds, the time will display. The colored dots, the ghosts can't hurt him, but they do tend to trap him in corners, which was not programmed intentionally, but I left that behavior in there because I thought it was uh, it was kind of neat. So this is just an entertaining thing to look at. Go get that last dot. There you go. He won that level. In the little interlude. Score. 118 points. Game over. Not sure what happened there, but it's time to move on to the next game. So far it's played one game. Okay, it goes back to the virus one. So I'm gonna skip ahead now. This is a game called Light Dot. Light Dot was inspired by Tron uh, light cycles. So here we have three light cycles zooming around the play field until they all die. No real strategy here, they just turn, they try to avoid each other. They will cut each other off. Nobody wins, everybody dies. And there you go. This was a pretty simple game, only took me, I don't know, maybe about six hours of fiddling around to get it going. Let's skip ahead to the next one. Worms. So this is based on snakes or nibbler. This one has some pretty cool interludes. A bunch of worms running, followed by the time. So there's three colored worms. They start out two dots each. They can't eat the white dots, so they bounce off it. The green dots they can eat, it tends to slow them down. The red dots make them speed up significantly. So after a while, they'll get big enough to be able to cut each other off. And there's an interlude. Oh wow, chicken being chased by a giant worm. There we go. My eight-year-old son drew the chicken. So in order to make these games, I basically sat down and decided to reinvent the wheel. I wasn't going to look up anyone else's code or anything. I just 
figured out how do I draw a dot and what do I do with that. And then I built structures, arrays, started building uh, drawing with ones and zeros. Then I basically came out with animated full color sprites that could move. And that's where you see the chicken and the worm. It's pretty easy to draw. Let's go to the next game. Space dot. Space dot. And there's the big Star Destroyer chasing Princess Leia. Possibly. So this game is based on Astro Smash, or it was inspired by Astro Smash from the Intellivision. So you got the lone human on the bottom of the planet, and you have rocks falling from the sky, spaceships zipping back and forth that slowly come to the bottom. The blue dot there, the human player, is programmed to avoid missiles yet shoot aliens. Sometimes he wins, sometimes he doesn't. It's pretty good. We got the three ships flying by, dragging the time behind them as an interlude. The green ship detonates. If it gets hit too many times, it blows up and it will nuke anything around it. That's the mothership. So if you hit it, it starts flashing red and starts dropping bombs. It has three basically hit points. Wow, that was a fast asteroid. Orange asteroids fall usually at a normal rate. I'm not sure why these ones are going so fast. It's pretty, uh, pretty intense. Let's move on to the next game. Dot Zerk. This is inspired off of the arcade game Berserk. So this particular game has 64 rooms in it. There's a human, the green dot, being chased by the red dots, robots. Their job is to exterminate the human, his job is to simply flee. Here's a cutscene, robot running, bringing the time behind him. So the rooms are quite small, I have a border around them, so that really doesn't leave a whole lot of room. But you get the idea of what's happening. Green dot survives, the doors unlock, they turn yellow, he can escape. Before that they're kind of purplish. Until he kills everything in the room, the doors will stay locked. Chicken. Now he didn't get all the robots, but he was able to leave, so the robots taunt him and call him a chicken, just like in the arcade machine. There's different cutscenes in this game. Kaboom, he died. So it starts the room over. Some of the room walls are actually the same color as the robots. Makes it a little bit difficult to see well, but if he takes too long, a yellow robot comes out, that's Bob, and he has to kill Bob. If, if he runs, then he gets called a chicken. Many different rooms in this game. Let's move on to the next. What do we have here? Dot Invaders. This is a Space Invader clone. We're inspired by Space Invader. You'll see the little ships flying there. Okay, this is a cutscene. Drops the human off. Human's gonna battle. It has shields. There's the Armada. Well, every 30 seconds the time will scroll by. So here you see the time again. It starts shooting. The Armada moves left to right, dropping bombs. If a bomb hits the player, he loses a life. If it hits the shield, the shield dies. You just saw a mothership go by. As the ships get fewer and fewer, they speed up, just like Space Invaders. Funny thing about this, I was programming the little human certain rules. I did not intentionally make it do this, but it tends to move over to the right and start blasting, just like I would in real life. When I play Space Invaders, that's how I play. So I thought that was pretty cool. Space Invaders. Let's see if you can get these. And there's a purple mothership flying by, worth extra points. And he got it, so he gets rescued. Ship comes, pulls him away. New level. Okay, let's go to the next game. After the interlude, here we go. Now this game is a little bit spazzy to watch. 
The dot right in the very middle of the screen doesn't move, the screen moves around it. This is Rally Dot, based on Rally X. Now these little red guys, they don't crash into him and he blows up. What they, what they almost do, they, they kind of rub up against him to trap him, but then they start drinking away some of the fuel. If he runs out of fuel, he dies. So this isn't really the same as Rally X, it's just inspired by it. Completely customizable, however many uh, red ships or red cars are on the play field. It's easy to draw new levels. I think I have four or five done. Yellow dots are the fuel dots, so he picks those up, he gains more fuel, and he goes a little bit faster. Each vehicle has radar, so they can tell what the closest dot is next to them. The player car knows where the closest yellow dot is, and it can start directing itself towards that dot. The red dots know how far away the human is within a certain range. I think their range is like five diagonal pixels they can see. They don't move very fast. I'm still fine-tuning all the variables. And sometimes the car gets stuck going in little circles around things. Oh, here he's trapped. The red cars will detonate and they will take out anything around them, including the player. last game, which we already saw at the beginning, if it'll let me switch games here, is Outbreak, the virus game. That's the one I've created just over these past couple of weeks. It's really entertaining when they go super fast. Now I can, I just have other little demos like you press the number 9 button and it just goes through an animation sequence. Different cutscenes, time, and then back. There you go, folks. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. On to next time.